You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. C- Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Atl, Atl, shout out to Quay, shout out to Quay, bro. Congrats, Quay. Are we on the air? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's too loud. That's too loud. Oh, like we're on? Yes. Oh my gosh, you suck! He like does that he want to catch the off air. he's not going to catch the off air. Like I know when to pause. You trash. All right, y'all. <laughs> Ryan did the intro. You can't catch the intro. Let me catch it, dude. What? Well, go ahead. You, you you do the intro. It's I'm Catch Twenty Two. Is Man Cave Sundays. We Let's got divining her details in here. Yeah. It's Brian D Boy Davis. Drew is in the building. It's your boy Lord Lightskin. Hey y'all. Hey. Can y'all get close to the mic? Don't yeah. act like y'all know how to be close to no mics. Ooh. I don't like Man Cave Sunday. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. Oh, okay. It is Man Cave Sunday, though. It's Drew. You don't like. You don't have a problem with me. Okay, you so. Right. We definitely have a problem with 5X. Mm-hmm. All right, Camaro. Look, we're not going to start the okay. interview like that. Okay, We've been good. Look, yeah. I'm trying to let... Her name is Camaria for everybody who don't know her yes. outside of Camaro. And then we have Tyra. Yay. And they are defining her details. And they have a woman's night out uh, event coming up. This is their third annual. Correct. Third okay. Women's event. night out. Women's. Women's. Uh-huh. Expo edition I this want women's. I don't want women. Women too educated. I need somebody to say women's. Well, you ain't going to get that here. Sorry, I don't know what to say. It's something. Look, I seen somebody at y'all last event that looked like she said women. She was my she type. She had gold teeth. She huh? was my type. Uh-huh. That's my she had, type. She had gold teeth on the really? tooth next to the thing. Oh, yeah. She only had one tooth? No. Oh. She had more than one. It's just, you know, you got two next to Never mind. We're going to talk about it later. I got you. All right. So what is different about this year's uh, event that's from different from last year's? So this year we're targeting small businesses. We want to really highlight women in business. Last year we had the panel, we did that, but this year we want to make sure that we give women the opportunity with businesses to really showcase their work, showcase their business this time. So So what type of businesses will y'all have there? Small businesses. I know small businesses. Yes, but with (laughs) with different areas, we're going to have boutiques, we're going to have women that have jewelry, we're going to have women, Mary Kay. Uh, account consultant. Consultant. Yeah. Mary Kay. Is a white business. Business. Yeah, they do. And, and I they use still it. making money. Yeah. You use Mary Kay? You look like you use Mary Kay, oh. but you date old men, so. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's what old men like. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's how she get them to go in there smelling like uh, white diamonds. <laughs> 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 my mama definitely wear white diamonds. <laughs> Thankfully. So is this a black women's thing or it's all women? Are y'all trying to empower all women? All women. All women. Yes. Okay, so there's going to be multiple races there? Yes. Multiple races there. That's yes. dope. Yes. So y'all getting the building the expo is supposed to be it's so it's gonna have vendors and everything there yep. yes you mm-hmm. already got the spot and everything yes so and where's the location Cation Cation cultural park. park oh is the that the same last place, place. yes yeah. mm. yep we're doing it again there so y'all gonna use the stage this time yes yes for y'all, a fashion show y'all should have pole dancing help why not pole dancing? What's wrong with pole that dancing? That is a small that business. A, no, pole dancing is a very lucrative business. It is. However, entrepreneurship. We want to make sure that this <laughs> is um. So you gonna say it's not classy? That's classy. what you're trying to. Huh. Oh, no, no, okay, no, no, no. no I know girls who pole dance her. with heels on. Okay, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> That's very classy. Okay. That is very classy, and we're not taking away from them. However. We don't have space for a stripper pole. Mm-hmm. It's too, it's too, too high. tall. And we don't have one to go all the way. Y'all ain't no good to hold them knife. Okay, <laughs> that pole is already oh, cemented into the building. So so we would have to have own. a portable stripper pole. And those don't go. It's I, just. I, it oh, how work. you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I've been to a, uh, you know, an event with a stripper pole before. Okay. Portable stripper pole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so with highlighting these uh, black businesses, how did you like find them? Did they find you, or did you like like seek them? Yeah, so we posted on our Instagram page, and a lot of them um, reached out to us, and then a lot of them were from last year. So each event that we've had, we've always had vendors. So okay. we make we allow them to come back and go ahead and showcase their business this time again. Okay, so are y'all doing a panel or something for them to talk about business or? 
what they do or how would they be highlighted differently this year? So this year, instead of having like the panelists, I think a lot of the attention went to like our speakers. Um, this year we will just have the vendors and probably like the fashion show. So they'll be able to get on stage and like, hey, like say, hey, like this is my product. This is what I have to offer. This is what I have to sell and be able to showcase just the vendors by themselves. Yes. Yeah. And okay. for the fashion show, we really wanted to do that so that you can see the actual clothes on a model of different sizes. Yes. That's what we really wanted to do. So when we told the booth vendors, smart. like, hey, okay, 5X, oh. don't do it. I ain't said <laughs> we nothing. Sure I was that listening. women of all sizes were able to showcase that those different <laughs> Okay. Okay, so, so women of all sizes. So y'all have, like, plus-size people coming. Correct, yes. Like, you already know they got plus-size models. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've seen them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you seen these plus like you vetted them like you made sure that they was gonna be good sure okay mm -hmm. all right i'm just asking <laughs> so are there any other events that define her details like do throughout the year besides this this annual um event yes 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 so we are i mean this year just it's been a lot going on just in life so we weren't able to really just hound in on that but we really want to start trying to do more community outreach and last year we did do a clothing drive um we made sure to like give those clothes out to the women's shelter and this year we really brunch. yeah we did a brunch and it was free. It was a free brunch um, that we allowed. I didn't get no invite to that. Oh well, well, that's on you. Sir. I mean, you called me five eggs, and it's a brunch, and I can't get no invite. <laughs> and it was free. And, and free. it was free. <laughs> all all free. I had to do was drive. Yep, yeah, that's all you had to do. But we're gonna definitely do that more uh, this coming year. We have a lot in store 2020, so <coughs> just stay tuned. Look all right, out. so this is y'all second time on Catch 22. I don't think y'all yep. were at this station. So would y'all like to tell the people how y'all got started or what's behind? Oh, yes, how we got started. One day we were literally going to Vacation Bible School. And we were like, let's come up with a... <laughs> what is Vacation Bible School? <laughs> oh, my God. Church. church. <laughs> we were actually coming from... Y'all ain't me that church. <laughs> no, we didn't. Oh. We didn't. Hey, we no, no, but party. but so people gonna think that y'all just seen each other at church okay, and no. like boom. We've been friends since daycare. Yeah, so okay, we've all been right. friends since we were three. Say you that. And one day, coming from church, we was like, let's create an organization for women, like yeah. a platform for yeah. women. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, like we just got started. It's been. It took off so, from there. Yeah. So why focus so much on women empowerment instead of just empowerment for people? That's I think because y'all. Y'all. Oh, oh, don't use that y'all word. I'm using my pronouns or something. You know, they, them. Y'all have a platform. What's our platform? The oh, Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Y'all have Harlem Nights. Hell, platform. What? Okay. Y'all have a lot. And yeah. The men? Are you the talking men. about men? Men have. Yeah. We don't have no platform. <laughs> we don't. I do. Kaepernick, we just talked about how Kaepernick just got kicked out of the NFL for kneeling. Like, how we got a platform? This Who's is speaking? a platform, man. Okay. Sunday. All right, but Taylor just ain't here. That's why it's man cave. We got a woman here. So do y'all want a platform? Yeah, so y'all give it to us? Yeah. Defining but his see, details. But see, that's why we did that last year. That's why we yeah. wanted to bring men in so that we're not just focused on women. Y'all caused me to women. get divorced. I just want y'all to know. No, we did not call you, you to get divorced. That was all on so you, sir. You did that. Look, I spoke so highly on my marriage at y'all event, I ended up divorced. Jinx well, me. that's that's not Honestly, once you that's went home after that, you didn't do something right. Okay, I, I wasn't going to go that far. Oh, I'm just saying yeah. that's not true. That's not <laughs> right, right. Those two right. sorry things aren't related. The that definitely are. No. Right. No. Shut up. Oh. Go back to your board. Okay. okay. No, so it was your fault. It was y'all fault no. that I got divorced. Um, I thought you was gonna say you was messing with them at first. That's why. No, I, no, 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 no. It was it was their fault because they jinxed me. I spoke so highly of it that it was nobody like nobody asked ah. you to do but that. But we didn't ask. Nobody asked. Yeah, they did. You were the one that was like, "Marriage." No, it was marriage. It was, marriage. Not it, was marriage. it was actually good at that time. <laughs> you know what's what's crazy? It was actually good at that time, and then you know it just so why you blaming them? quick quick yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it's easy to place blame on somebody besides yourself. And that's the issue. That's probably why you... So what I were y'all asking at this panel? Because I want to know some of these questions that I didn't get a chance to answer. Uh, why, like, somebody asked, about, why do, why do men cheat? Yeah, why yes. do men cheat? Yes, why do men cheat? And it's um, a plethora of reasons why. Side chick, I we asked about side chicks. What about them? They're so, awesome. No, we. I think the question was... That's why you... Why <laughs> do men have side chicks? Because. Why? Can I answer? Yeah, no. go ahead. We want to hear your honest Cause opinion. Because I got two sides. I got a left side and a right side. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to let him answer. All right, so the reason why men have side chicks a lot of time is because it's hard to find everything that you want in one person. Ooh. Okay. And okay. Some, Say that. And sometimes it's 
it could be complacency. It depends on that man at that time period, too. You can be in a long relationship with somebody, and sometimes the sex goes away, too. Mm -hmm. So certain things that just be like that newness, it's nothing like a fresh new relationship. It's nothing like that. Well, you better preach. So when you end up dealing with somebody at the beginning, the sex is constant. Mm -hmm. The fun is constant. There's not that many arguments. And then you go home to argue and deal with that person that you've been with for five or six years, even though you may love that person, might even have a lot of other things invested as money, (coughs) time, kids. Yeah. Look, like look that, I, so. I agree wholeheartedly with everything you're saying. I'm and in like I six disagree. new relationships right now. Oh, hey. Okay. Are you in six new relationships? Right now. I think that's so cool, bro. Right now. I think it's cool. And then next week, I'll be in six new new ones. Yeah, because they get mad But at have you, you communicated with them and said, hey, yep. you, I'm going to let you know that you're not why, the only why one. You you know, why, okay. why, right. why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you not do that? Okay, because okay, women not? say that they want the truth. Okay. They lying. They lying. First of all, because you can't handle the truth. I've never heard a man, because women always say, if a dude just want to smash, why he won't say that? Because when he says he'll when get he smashed. It never works. <laughs> never. It's I never can't works. say I just want to hit you. How you many guys like, have ever walked up to you and said, I want to smash you, gave it to him? Oh. No. Zero. This so why would I say that? Okay, but then that's so why you're like, her we're love, communicating like, correctly. Why because not go and find somebody that would be willing okay, to do so that? Okay, so look, 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 look. It's just like a exist. test. Y'all, look, look, it's just like a like test. That's, I feel like that's weak. Even in a relationship, Women you want know to you're going to have a, want to have a side chick. Why not communicate that with her and allow her to take make that decision? Because she knows going to make the wrong decision. Because she's going to make the wrong decision. How's she going to make the wrong decision? Because I'm the best thing that's going to happen in her life. Why are y'all not able to say, okay, this is not working. Let's try to improve this. Let's work on this. Are you talking about the relationship? That you yeah. in right then? Yeah. Yes. Oh, but yes. Yes. So this saying something and then continue to hurt that person. Exactly. Continue to hurt. Hold on. First of all, let's not act like just me and cheat. Because no, no, I no, just no, found no. out I was somebody's side piece the other day. We and I wasn't mad. We got mad. Uh, but I wasn't mad that I was a side piece. When she told me she had a man, I was like, well, thank you. I don't have to take you on dates. I don't have to argue with you. You got somebody to do that with. Fact. Okay. This is this, this is, is why you, you you should be okay with being a side piece. It's I don't want to argue with you. I just want to have a good time with you all the time. And then I go back to my regular life. Mm-mm. Which is hard. That's just too Mm-mm. much. But that's the truth, Mm-mm. though. Mm-mm. See, that's the whole thing is y'all, don't, y'all ask for the truth. When we tell y'all the truth, it's like y'all fight what we're telling you. No. All right. I mean, and I feel like, but every woman is different because I want you to give it to me straight 100. And that's just, I would just be receptive of whatever you say. I can't get sure. necessarily Receptive is not always the answer that I want, though. Okay, well. So how do you, what do you want? Drew? Look, look, I'm just saying, what like, if want? I study for a test and I was hoping for an A and I get a C, that's not what I wanted. So I just need to study a little harder. I got to put a little bit more time in. Same thing put with women. Put a little bit more time right? in, right? So I'm still lying to you. I just, uh, no, no, I just put a little bit no. more time in to nice. get the grade you that I want. just twisted that all the way wrong. That's why nope, you divorced. Oh, next question. Ding, 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 that's just because uh, <laughs> your boyfriend this? is in a nursing home. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Y'all want to do this? He was a city boy in 1959. <laughs> you still with that old man? Yep. He still, hi- he still hiding you from his wife? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Bang, bang. Ooh, Are, you Are you in his will? Are you in his will? Yeah, I'm in his will. Oh, that's all. <laughs> You know what? See, why do we always have to talk about me and the old me? Because you shot your shot at me. You the one talking about how you was divorced. I I can say that. What? I can say I'm divorced. Like, I can say I'm fat. I don't want you to call me fat. Okay. I'm sorry, honey. Put it in the app. Let me just not say that. All right. That's how women are, though. Back to women empowerment and defining her details. Uh, Third annual, because we got to wrap this up, y'all. Okay. So, give everybody the location, the time, whether they can find the tickets, and uh, the Instagram so they can make sure that they're following you guys. You all can follow us on Defining Her Details huh. on Instagram. Mm-hmm. At Defining Her Details. At Defining Her Details. D-E-F-I-N-G-H-E-R-D-E-T-A-I-L-S. <laughs> Thank you, Camaria. <laughs> um, the Women's Night Out Expo will be at 3018 Emancipation Avenue in Houston, Texas, 77004. The event starts at 6. And ends at eight, and the tickets are on Eventbrite. And what right, date is, is it? it? It's September the seventh. It's That's gonna start Saturday. at six. It's at gonna start six. at six. Last time we started. On and our men and yes, are men welcome to come. Men. men are welcome to come. It's men friendly. Where they start on time last time? I don't yes, remember. Yes, did. You're lying. Y'all I was remember. late. We was not. We was on time. We did the balloon release and everything. He said I ate the food. I could eat the food. First of all, the first few minutes was you supposed to just be eating. Yeah, that was cocktail hour. Yeah. 
So that's what so I was doing. We don't even say the word y'all. cocktail on Catch 22, so I don't know what y'all talking about. Okay. okay. We are gonna go into a mix with DJ out. Light Skinner when we come back. We got an, uh, another special guest. It's Catch 22 Man. Let's style. get it. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on LightyJKills.com. I'm Tyra and I'm Camaria and we are defining her details. We just finished an interview with Catch 22 Radio and we would like for you guys to come out to our women's night out event on September 7th at 6 p.m. Okay, maybe y'all there. No, we're 